here working on it again and uh, what I've been working on tonight is getting this LED up here on the front and the tricky part on this was figuring out how to set up and create the right spacing back here so I'd get clearance here because I don't know how I'm going to want this you know tilted down or up or you know I'll get out there and figure it out at night but uh, this is the prototype stage of uh, bolting it all together and bolting it onto the tractor for the first time to see how it's going to fit up and it's kind of kludgy uh, these are eight inch long three quarter inch bolts uh, three quarter inch ten inch thread ten inch thre ten thread shoot said that totally wrong I'm gonna start over it's a three quarter inch bolt and the threads on the bolt are ten threads per inch that's what matches up the uh, bolt holes right here in the front of a 4020 I finished this up and got it painted like I wanted and bolted on tight got the wiring to go up under here like I wanted that went rather well got it inside of this channel brought it through back here to get my grounds I wanted the grounds right on the battery and then the uh, power feed up through here to get into this uh, switch here I can't work on this today because it's raining out here but uh that's some more of the wire I've still got to tie in there's one switch left to mount I've got two of them this is the arrangement I went with for the toggle switches like that uh, the, from here the wiring harness was crap I, that's what I was getting off of that switch and getting rid of the switch and redoing this up in here so I made me a wiring harness and went from here here tied it down with a piece of uh, number 10 wire solid so it's pretty stiff I put my foot here every now and then and by getting this down here I'll be able to keep my foot off of it and then up here found this and came up through here came out here and tied it into these LED lamps here that's all completely wired in now and back here I'm using the same type of LED light that I put over here put four of those on the Ford but I made me a little pedestal here this solid and uh, brought the wire in down through here put some extra on it to go through the fender with and got it in here, brought it down through here, and then out right there. And I'm going to start off with just one of these back here. I think it'll be enough. It's pretty simple. I left a place if I want to to come back into it and put another one of these on the other fender over there. And then over here on this side, I've got the LEDs here wired in again back up under here down through here back here same deal made a wiring harness with this tubing stuff to give it some protection tied it in here routed it back up through here and back through there uh, so making progress not finished getting close if it would quit raining and let me get out here and get something done I could finish this up but that's where I'm at little update for you on this So we'll see if we can get something else done on it and get you another update. Everybody, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer I'm back here again. I have finished up the lights, the LED light project on the 4020 tractor. I'm tickled to death with it. It came out really sweet. Let's walk out there and I'll show you what how it works. Well, right now you see it's dark, it's a little flashlight. The only thing left to do is figure out how I'm going to put my floor plate back on. Um, that wasn't supposed to be part of the project, but anyhow, it broke. So, uh, what we come up with here 
is three switches right here to replace the rotary switch. And on this switch here, I turn that on, I get uh, that center light in the front. And for the very first time ever, instrument lights. Never had that. That's going to be really cool to have that at night. Okay, when I reach over here and flip this switch, we get the fender lights. Now, I'm going to walk around here behind the tractor. Can't really get up in the seat because I'm afraid I'll get my foot on something and cause myself something else to have to work on. But that's light. I'm tickled to death with that. Uh, fender lights and then that little one in the center up there on the front that lights it up I hope the glasses are picking it up and doing it justice and I am ever so delighted with having uh, instrument lights that's gonna be way cool um, yeah <laughs> never had that before I mean never I saw them flicker on once uh, about 17 years ago and then they never came on again and uh, then what we got for back here on the back is this light, and we'll turn it on. Whoa, look down, that thing's bright. Uh, right there. And that gives us uh, pretty good light back there for whatever implement I'm pulling. I'm thinking mostly chisel plow or offset at night. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to try to smooth a field at night. I really need to see what's going on with that because if you grab a rock and uh, stop one of those baskets from spinning, you can make a big mess. But for chisel plowing, that'll work really good and I, it'd be fine for offset. But I'm well, well pleased with the way this came out. Uh, really well. That was uh, not fun. I wonder if it blew the fuse. <laughs> Out here showing off my work and uh, boom, she all died. Okay. Maybe that was too small a fuse. <laughs> That's, well, better it happen out here tonight on a test run. So let's find out if it blew the fuse. We'll be right back, folks. Had math on uh, fuse size I put a seven and a half amp fuse in it <laughs> anyhow a little ohm meter if I touch things if I can get my fingers on it here all right that's a zero reading on the same side of the fuse and uh, if I get on the other side of the fuse that's uh, open and if I put on my prescription glasses and hold this thing up here real close and look at it I can actually see it's open but uh, anyhow blue the fuse uh, Showing off my new lights and uh, found out that a seven and a half amp fuse ain't big enough. That kind of shocked me though. But if I go through thinking about the math on that, 18, four times 18, uh, four times eight, 32, four, that's 72 watts. That front one is uh, 60, so. Uh, uh, let's see, 6, 7, 13, so that's uh, 132 watts, and that back one is uh, 45. So 132 plus 45, that takes us to uh, 170, uh, 177 watts. All right, that's interesting. 177 watts take that to Ohm's law at 12 volts yeah that fuse is way undersized oh well you can get on the calculator to get it precise but it's looking like it needs about a 15 amp fuse all right I swapped the fuse out in here yeah that fuse is gonna be too small I'm going to those uh, seven and a half amp fuses came in a four pack and I will admit that was about as long as I had left the lights on. I was flipping them on and off testing them and I had all three of them on. So we need a bigger fuse. But hey, if you know, you throw something together and 
do the math a little bit wrong. I'd rather have too small a fuse in there than too big a fuse and burn up these expensive lights. Well, like I said, all that's left to figure out on this project is how to get my floor plate back in here. Everybody, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Raining. Rained off and on all day long. Had to work on the heat.